Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rick Sorts Watercolor. This video is one in a series of videos I'm doing of Christmas cards for 2020. I hope you enjoy this, and if you do enjoy my channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand corner if you haven't already. And if you do like this video, be sure to like it and share it with others. This is my 2020 Christmas card number seven. You can find the link for the template for this in the description of the video. Hi everybody, this is Rick. I am live in my studio and it is a very snowy day at my house. We had about a half a foot snow overnight and through this morning and it stuck to everything so the trees are all covered with snow and everything is looking very wintry. And I thought I would do another Christmas card video. Uh, this is one in a series of Christmas card videos that I've done. This is number seven. I was going to stop at six, but I had a lot of requests to do a few more. So uh, this one here is a little different theme. Uh, before I was doing some landscapes, and now I'm going to do just some Christmas theme subjects. So here's just a couple simple Christmas ornaments. The template you'll find on the YouTube reference page on my website, rsowitzart.com, and you'll find the link to that uh, in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and start painting. So these are Christmas cards. These are on prefabricated Strathmore Christmas cards. They're about five by seven inches. And uh, I don't try to turn these into real complex paintings. I just try to keep them simple and have a little bit of fun. So uh, I'm gonna start by painting uh, these lines here that I have on the template just indicate where the branches are coming. I'm gonna put some uh, some green along here, some greenery, just to, to show, suggest the, the, the Christmas tree. And I'm starting with some sap green. I may put a little pyro red in that. Not much. Even a little quinacridone gold. And some royal blue, just to give me a range of colors if I want. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to paint individual pine needles. I'm just going to give the suggestion of those. Uh, I have a, a fairly uh, watery mix here on my uh, palette. I'm going to bring these uh, this wash around this uh, ornament. So I'm going to paint around the outside edge of that, the exterior edge. And my branch coming down. And like I said, it's a very wet mixture that I'm using at the moment. Just working on the exterior edge and negative space of these. And this paper handles a bit differently than the uh, paper that I normally paint on. It's still 140 pound cold press. And it does the job for what, what we're doing here. So I need to make sure this is fairly wet application. So I'm going to scrape this to give it the pattern of uh, pine needles. And I want it to get kind of a damp condition here, which I think it is. So I'm going to just scrape at this and think about the direction that I want these to go. to be aware of the condition of, the, of the, the moisture level in here and you don't have a lot of time before it gets too dry and you can't work with it. 
So this is just to give a suggestion. going to dry that because I want to preserve the shapes that I have there and right now if I paint over those I'm going to lose those I'm going to lose some of them but I still want to keep what I what I have right there so I'm going to dry this all right now that's dry I'm going to put um, a wash over here to suggest this branch that we have coming out I'm not going near as heavy with this or as large as what I had there. And I'm going to scrape this while it's still fairly wet because I want to move some of that paint to create some positive shapes. So it's just fairly simple what we're doing there. We're not trying to render pine needles or paint individual pine needles so much, although I'm going to. I'm going to just try and complement that with a few brush strokes. A few here. I'm trying to improve a few of these edges where it got dry on me before I scraped it. So I'm going to add a couple shapes. Just to break that edge up a little bit. I'm trying to clean this edge. And a little bit here. Now, once again, I'm going to dry this. So that's dry. And I'm going to take just a little bit of a darker green here. I'm going to add some royal blue. I'm going to just paint a little bit in the negative space here. Give a darker value. Not a lot, just enough to let you know that there's a little bit of depth in this. I'm aware of the direction that I want to make those brush strokes. I think I'll put a little bit here. Could go much darker, but I don't think I'm going to go too much darker. So there we have that. Now I'm going to dry this once again. So I am going to lighten these lines a little bit. light and I'm going to I'm going to paint this one red I have some pyro red here I have some rose matter quinacridone I have a little lizard quinacridone I'm not sure exactly what combination I'll use here but I'm going to go ahead and start to paint so I'm going to start on this side Take some water and just soften that. And 
I think I'll add a little royal blue to that. And I'm going to go a little deeper on this side. Just make that look like it's shining a little. That. I could have been a little better with my lines there. Well, it's still wet. Let's see what I can lift out. Actually don't mind the softer edges. Make it feel a little bit more a part of what's going on there. And not like they're pasted on. So I'm going to dry this again. First I want to paint this top here. I'm going to take some gold and I'm going to paint the top here where the wire connects and let me dry that I need to paint the uh, green in between there actually before I dry that I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put a gold element here just so this is a gold stripe. Now let me dry that. Now I want to paint some green in around that. I'm going to take some quinacrid and burnt orange. suggestion of this branch and I don't just draw a straight line I start and stop it a little bit a little there a little there now I'm going to mix more of a kind of a blue green so I'm going to take sap green add some of this royal blue to it And I think I'm going to add some Quinn Gold. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to use some Viridian. A little gold in it. That's feeling more like a Christmas bulb green to me. I'm using Viridian here. some water just to soften the edge gradate that a little bit get lighter to the to this other side and I'm actually going to take some of this green now 
which is a combination of sap green with some royal blue and some other things in it. I'm going to take some clear water and run it through there and then I'm going to lift so I can get kind of a soft edge like I did on the other one. I'm going to do the same on this one. Now I'm going to dry this. Alright. I'm going to paint this portion here. I'm going to take some of this green and I'm going to paint the string. A ribbon. And I'm going to take some red and I'm going to paint this. The, the cap here, the bulb, so the Christmas ornament. A little gold there. I'm going to put the gold just a gold wash along here. Actually, I think I want to lose some of that on the back side. We'll just make that the shadow side there. That'll give a little bit more definition, a little more volume to the ornament. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Take some alizarin crimson. darker value on that. I'll do the same here. Now I'm going to take my fine mist spray. I want to soften some of these this edge a little bit and lighten it up. Do the same there. Just start to get a little bit of a lost edge. a little bit. I lost some of that shape so I'm going to bring it back. I 
add a little bit more volume to it. Go ahead and dry this. Now, I'm going to put some darker values in here, I think. So we're going to come out like this. darker values will help connect the ornament a little bit more to what's going on behind it. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to create a little suggestion of some shadow there. Not a lot. And I want to take some of this burnt orange. Get something here, give me a little little darker value. Just to create more of an edge. Take off the, the tape and we'll see what we have. Tape got a little bit of my car. So there we have an open car that'll open and. Uh, just a simple little Christmas card with some ornaments on it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And look for my other um, holiday card videos in this series.